today we're going to explore Long Beach, Washington and the Long Beach Peninsula. Come join us on our adventure. We're on our way to the Long Beach Peninsula and the city of Long Beach. As we are headed north from Oregon, we must cross the Astoria Megler Bridge. This bridge is about four miles long and one of a handful of Columbia River crossings into Washington. This part of the Long Beach Peninsula is rich in history, with the Chinook Indians thriving here on the banks of the Columbia River for centuries, and also military history. Once you enter, you find Signal Camp, one of many Chinook villages that lined the banks. A few miles Fort Columbia Historic Park, which was a defense site for the U.S. from the turn of the century and again during World War II. The town of Chinook is another historical stop with churches, buildings, and a school. Ilwaco, once a major fishing port, still is bustling with activity. Besides a charter, there are many art galleries to visit, and a walk along the port or the Discovery Trail can just be the beginning. Cape Disappointment State Park fronts the Pacific Ocean and the mouth of the Columbia River. Named for Captain John Muir's first attempt at trying to find the Columbia River, this park is rich in history as it is beautiful to visit. Cape Disappointment is home to the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center, as well as trails, campsites, freshwater lakes, and views you can only find here. Long Beach is Washington's best kept secret for a beach vacation destination. Things are laid back and you can find peace and solace at 25 miles of beach which is drivable. There are many shops, restaurants and galleries to visit, most owned by locals. No trip is complete without a stop to Marsh's Museum, home of Jake the Alligator Boy.
One of the crops grown on the peninsula is cranberries. We stopped at the Cranberry Museum and Gift Shop and ventured along the walking tour. The museum is a working cranberry farm located between Long Beach and Ocean Park. Cranberries are planted in sandy soils or peat moss and prefer well-drained soil. The tour was very informational and worth the stop. On the north end of the peninsula is Oysterville, a historic town that sits on the western bank of Willapa Bay. Oysterville, as its name suggests, was a hot spot for Willapa Bay oysters and the riches that were gained by harvesting oysters are visible in the lavish homes that are on the main street. There is a walking tour as well as placards that state the original owner's name and the date the house was built. The Oysterville School can be seen off the main street and the centerpiece is the church built in 1892. Most days the church is open and you can find maps there for the walking tour. Willapa Bay National Wildlife Refuge encompasses many different points around Willapa Bay. From Leadbetter Point on the north end of the peninsula to Highway 101 shoreline, here you will find many different bird species. Have your camera ready, you might miss the shot of a lifetime. There are so many things to do and see on the peninsula. Take a day, weekend, or spend some time exploring the Long Beach Peninsula. We hope you enjoyed our visit to Long Beach, Washington and the Long Beach Peninsula. If you enjoyed our video, give us a like or a comment, or better yet, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified when we have any new videos. So thanks again for watching Senior Snoops. We hope you've enjoyed our video. If you like our video, give us a like or a comment or subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you on our team. Once again, thanks for watching Senior Snoops.